Attention all campers. I'm so glad you're here at Love Camp. <sighs> what a week. Here we are at our day five. And then tomorrow we will have a closing ceremony. But if you're watching this replay, I'm so glad you're back and tuning in because really these five days including our opening ceremony, which makes it six, um, and then seven with our closing ceremony. This whole journey is a powerful one, if you haven't noticed. This isn't just uh, your typical sort of five-day challenge thing that you can find online. This is really an opportunity to really transform if you let it. So, um, hey, welcome. And so today we continue. And this is probably the most important step. And you kind of, um, the, the steps coming up to it are very important. But today's day is finding the edge and taking the leap. This is really, sometimes I like to call it love attraction in action because attraction has action in it. And so today we really get to have that experience together. So taking yourself, whether you've done all the days or not, um, you can always go back, but I'm just going to walk us through where we have arrived up until this point. So, you know, day one, being aware of your intention. So right now, continuously bringing that intention into the forefront of your awareness. And this is something that you can put on a piece of paper, make a poster of having it in your space. So bringing your awareness to that intention and then, you know, being able to notice the energy of that and saying, I'm having that, I'm having that. And no doubt about that. So I'm having that, no doubt about that. That was our, that was our beginning opening. Then the next day, we tuned into our actual energetic space, the space that we be and and played with creating the space. So even now, noticing, are you holding that space that has the love landing pad, the place where your love story can arrive, where your manifestations can show up, actualize. It's really an actualization of that which you are asking for and then day three we created our warm and fuzzy so that we could have that sensory experience we could connect into that um the love laser beams i like to call them so connecting into those love laser beams that warm and fuzzy that that matches our um, intention, which we're going to kind of expand on that a little bit today. And then on day three, we or we came to the campfire and we we consciously released. We used our I don't know where I put my we used the the pine cone as a metaphor for all of the things we wanted to um, clear out of our space and release those into the fire. And then, then day four, we, which was yesterday, seems like we've been here for, for many more days. But day four was yesterday and we played with resistance, those things, those, those inventions that our mind will absolutely create for you when you're asking for something greater than you've ever asked for before. 
So when you're aware that your mind will invent problems, excuses, actual physical ailments sometimes, money issues, uh, fears, doubts, all of these things will come up when we are asking for something great. And that's, you know, really, for those of you who haven't signed up for VIP, I really recommend it because this is where the rubber meets the road. You know, when we can actually bring into our awareness all of the interesting ways, and there's probably some of these inventions coming up that are saying, well, I can't do that right now. And blah, blah, blah. Well, I would encourage you to uh, choose again. Um, so the, the resistance we, we worked with by accessing our personal power, which when we are aware of what resistance looks like, and um, another great book, if you haven't read it, The Big Leap, and that is a book that talks about these edges, and today we're going to work with the edge. It talks about these edges where people naturally, when they're asking for something bigger, when they're on the edge of a huge breakthrough, there's a feeling of stopping. And that's called an upper limit problem. It's like you get to a little place where, okay, now I'm stopping. And yet, what it is you desire is out here. So today, everyone join me as we arrive at the Love Camp ropes course, let's say. It's kind of a ropes course, but we're specifically going to hang out on the special Love Camp cliff. So right now I invite you because we're going to go into a process. So, so settling in to your spot, removing any distractions, because right here and now, closing your eyes as we are on the edge of the cliff. And the interesting thing about the Love Camp uh, cliff is that we cannot see what's down at the bottom. We cannot see it. In fact, in each moment, it's evolving. In each moment, it's different. In some moments, it's only... A, a like a one foot jump and some moments it's miles into rocks in some moments it's you know a couple feet in a big marshmallow pit in some moments it's um this heavenly space where angels and fairies are ready to to embrace you like there is no end to the possibilities on the Love Camp Cliffs. So as you are sensing being on the edge, close your eyes right now and tuning into your intention, tuning into that which you are asking for. And as you tune into that which you're asking for, sensing and perceiving in your body the edge. And you may not know exactly what that is right now, and you don't need to know specifically, just finding that sense of the edge. And the edge oftentimes is those that space that you are avoiding, that thing that you continue to avoid or not feel you have the capacity to say yes to. So just noticing and being aware of what it is that you may be sensing and perceiving is that edge that place where you stop. And it may not be comfortable here. 
So whatever it is, finding that energy, that space in your body, you may sense it in a part of your body. It may be in your stomach or in your head or in your arms or somewhere else, or maybe sort of an overall sense on your body. But wherever you get to, wherever you notice that, go ahead and go to that space right now. Just moving your awareness into that as best you can. And as you're in that energy of the edge, Bring your attention back to the edge of the cliff at Love Camp Ropes Course. And this gets to be a rehearsal space for you. This gets to be a practice space where you get to experience some possibilities of taking the leap off the edge. Because what we know about taking the leap is that it's about taking the leap first. That when you're choosing to take the leap, you will not know what it's going to create. So that's the beauty of the Love Camp Cliff is that when you take the leap, you, you just get to see what it creates. And that's what happens in life. That if you are not making choices, if you're not moving past the edge or, or acknowledging where you stop, then all you get is that. All you get is the stop. All you get is being stuck in limitation. All you get is the old. And as great as it feels to get pumped up and excited about having these things and cheering yourself on and being in the warm and fuzzy, if you're not willing to cross that edge, take that next step, then nothing's going to change. So right now, we acknowledge that it is about taking the leap first and seeing what it creates second. Taking the leap first, seeing what it creates second, and knowing that if you, that knowing that you always have your back, knowing that you are following this, your edge, your inspiration is yours. And when you have you, there is no, there's, you can't do you wrong. When you have you, you can't do you wrong. So wherever you've decided that you have to ask a million people or post it on Facebook or, or, or wait and hope and wish something changes, you end up denying yourself of you. you. You're giving up yourself in those moments. So today we're going to have a different experience. So as you're on the edge and you're aware of that edge in you, whatever it is, it may be a sense of avoidance. It may be a sense of fear. It may be even an awareness of what you've decided is going to happen if you were to take a leap. It may be an awareness of what you have defined yourself as all these years that maybe you aren't. Maybe you aren't as shy as you think you are. Maybe you aren't as unattractive. Maybe you aren't as not talented or whatever the story is. You know, so what is available right now. So right now, from that space of the edge, moving towards the actual Love Camp Cliff edge, 
And it's just going to sense and perceive being on the edge. And we're all going to leap. So on the count of three, we're going to leap. So one, two, three, leap. Just as you sense jumping off and falling, sensing the falling. And wow, we're falling, we're falling, we're falling. Oh my God, we're falling. Just sensing falling, 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 splat. Oh my God, you splatted. There's a splat. What is this right here and now? So in the splat, what has been created here? Just as you notice, as you perceive yourself splatted on the bottom, begin to move your attention into you in the splat. And as you move your attention to you in the splat, just noticing what's there. Noticing right now if you decided, oh my God, I did it wrong. Oh my God, I got this wrong. Oh my God, I am, this is, this is bad. Where have you judged the splat as bad? And just noticing that. And as you're there, in the splat, notice that you're there. Notice that you're still there. That even in the splat, you are there. And as you're in the splat, Look back at the cliff. Look way, way up at that cliff. And look at where you started. And noticing what arises. Wow, I, I leaped and I splatted and I'm still here. And then from here, you may even have an awareness of of the power that you be, that you can make a choice, you can splat, and you can still create from here. So now, speaking in your mind, what I'm realizing about taking the leap that I didn't realize before is, And just noticing what's arising there. And now, magically, you come back into form and arrive back at the cliff again. And as you rise back at the cliff again, this time you're at the you're at the love camp cliffs so things are constantly evolving now you're on the cliff again so finding that edge again finding the edge in you again and this time as you're on the edge knowing that you can't do it wrong that there's knowing that you can splat and still rise up, that there's nothing more powerful than you because you're back up here again. Go ahead, find that edge again. And on the count of three, leap. One, two, three, leap. Leap! Woo! And you find yourself falling, 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 swoop! You've just been swooped up by this amazing possibility. And you're finding yourself floating and, and 
and supported and just being aware of, wow, I sensing and perceiving something beyond this reality that you didn't ever consider before. And as you're being supported and floated by whatever it is, it may be your camp counselor, it may be the universe, it may be a cloud, it may be something else. You just notice what's created here. Wow, I didn't even realize this was a possibility that I could be swooped away by a cloud or my camp counselor or whatever the thing is right now. And just notice, wow, okay, here's another space. And not that this is, that there's no right, wrong, good or bad. It's not even different than the splat. Noticing how it's just another space. And giving yourself that awareness, that experience that this time it created this and as you're here and in this new possibility that you had never thought could have occurred and it may just be an energy but you may even have a sense for you and your intention something you hadn't actually thought of before that's arising with you and in this space, speaking out loud or in your head, what I'm realizing now that I didn't know before about taking the leap. What I'm realizing now that I didn't know before. And as you're there, you can even look back at the, the edge, even remembering how it felt to be on the edge and now how it feels to be here. Even looking back below where you splatted, noticing that, wow. Noticing what you're aware of from here to there. Once again, there's no right or wrong. There's just choice to leap and creation. So now, Finding yourself back on the edge. Back on the magical love camp edge. Finding the edge within you. And then giving yourself this chance to leap. And noticing what your imagination gives you. So on the count of three, one, two, three, leap. So as you leap off the edge and feel yourself in space, just noticing what it's like to be in the space, sensing and perceiving the falling or the floating or whatever wants to happen, just noticing and allowing whatever it is that wants to arrive, noticing what you notice, what's being created from the leap. Letting consciousness, letting the universe, Letting your imagination guide you. You may continue to fall or float or splat or something else. But just giving yourself this opportunity to be in the creation without judgment. But allowing your body to experience the leap. And wherever you arrive, wherever you've arrived from the leap, begin to notice what I'm realizing now that I didn't realize before. 
And speaking what I'm, what I'm aware of, I can choose now that I haven't been willing to choose before. That if I were to choose it, would create more in my life, create greater in my life. And anything that's not allowing me to make the choice to take the leap, just releasing it, destroying it, uncreating it right now. Mm -hmm. Noticing what's available for you now that wasn't available for you before. Noticing the capacity of you now that wasn't available before. Because this is required. Taking the leap is required because love is risky. It does have that edge. There are, that's how our body perceives it as a, an edge, as a risk, as a, um, oftentimes scary space. But what vulnerability can you choose? What, what support can you ask for? What, what changes have you been unwilling to make that if you were to make them would give you more of you and more of what you're actually desiring? That is the opportunity, the possibility that you have today. So I encourage you to reach out. I would love to hear what you're, what's, What's arising for you? Reach out to me. Um, join us in VIP or let's talk about how you can do further coaching to support you on your path to actually choosing greater. And join us all tomorrow. Please do join us tomorrow for our closing ceremony there's going to be a great surprise and i cannot wait to see you there have an amazing day at camp